Hey guys, this is Ed and hey, I know it's been two months since I made a video. I get it, but I've been quite busy. I mean, I've, I, we did crew, David and I, and uh, had a blast. We learned a lot. Um, gosh, man, we went to uh, Texas and uh, Missouri, all across the U.S. Uh, we had to divert a couple of times due to weather, but man, we had a lot of fun and that's what it's all about, right? But then, of course, comes training. And we were going from the Piper Archer to now the Piper Seminole, which is the twin engine, for those of you that don't know yet. So, uh, quite a few things that you need to learn on that, which is, uh, you know, your systems, your flows, all those types of things, and um, engine outs, all kinds of procedures, which by the way, I should have been studying on crew. And if any of you watch while before you're going on crew, definitely study. I mean, do yourself a favor and also take that CAX test, which is your commercial test. Um, kind of procrastinated a little, not, not too good anyway, but I got past it and, uh, should have had my check ride. Like, I don't know, three weeks ago or even more than that, probably a month ago. Uh, but weather, plane availability, and a couple of times me, um, here I am. I'm stuck until October 16th. I'll have my check ride then, uh, my comm multi. And then from there, I will go to my comm single, and that's going to be about a week after. I'll let every one of you know, so as soon as I get my comm single completed, I will have to take two more written tests for the CFI portion, and then they will give me a date going to either Jacksonville, LZU, or who knows where. But I will let each and every one of you know where I'm going to go and when I'm going to be there. So the videos will keep coming. It's just a little difficult, a little bit more difficult because of the study time and there's just so much going on. And I know a lot of you have questions. I get that. And I'm trying to answer everybody that I can, but just bear with me. I do get a lot of questions about, you know, if you're beginning and before you start aviation school, ATP or wherever, what should you do? I'm going to make a video about that after this one this is just kind of a quick quick update on what i'm doing and where i'm you know where i've been uh didn't want you to think i fell off i like i said maybe i fell off a little bit but i did want to get back to you guys i think each and every one because you've asked so many questions you've actually gotten kind of concerned but this is what's really happened i just kind of put the videos off a little bit because i really wanted to get you know, a little bit more study in it, right? And so anyway, this is the video. It's going to be really, really short, really quick, but I think you guys deserve an update, don't you? So anyway, if you have questions, terrific. I'll answer them when I can. Um, you know, most of all of you know, I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll put the links down below and you can ask me questions through there. If I don't get back with you right away, please understand I'm still, like I said, I'm still a student right now. But once I get out of this, I'll be glad to help each and every one of you. Again, once after this video, I'm going to do another video and I'm going to explain exactly how to get started. Hey, and if you're over 40, perfect. You can still do this. I'm doing it. One of you watch, so like and subscribe my channel. That's just keeping this channel alive. Anyway. Thank you so much, and I will make my next video pretty soon, probably within a few days or next week. Anyway, take care, guys. Thanks.